Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made my Bitmoji classroom so that you can go on today and have a ton of fun making it yourself. I've got some social media links here on the side where you can go and follow me on these platforms. Let's get started. The first thing that we want to have open is Google Slides. Google Slides is where we're going to be making our Bitmoji classroom. My Bitmoji classroom just has my Bitmoji. It has a whiteboard which has instructions over it as well as activity links on the bookshelf. Students can go into the links and complete the activities that you've set for them. Let's go grab our Bitmoji. To do that, we need to download the Bitmoji app on our phone and then create an avatar, which is a cartoon version of yourself. Okay, you can do it through the Apple Store or Google Play. Once we have created an avatar for ourselves, we need to get the Google Chrome extension. The Google Chrome extension just looks like an icon at the top of your browser and it allows you to stick your Bitmoji into websites. Okay, to download that, just go to bitmoji.com, scroll all the way down as we have, and click on the link at the bottom. Okay, once we have all that, we can start to create our Bitmoji classroom. So we'll just press new slide, get rid of these text boxes. And the first thing that we want to have is a background. We're going to go to slide and change background. The idea of having a background is so that when we put our images into our Bitmoji classroom, the background is not going to be shifting around. We want to have a wall and a floor. I'm just going to do a quick Google image search and just insert a background that I like. Once we have that, we can insert our Bitmoji. We can go to the extension at the top and grab our Bitmoji. Okay, let's insert a seat for our Bitmoji. So we're going to get an image from the web and we're going to type seat and the key here is to type transparent background. Okay, I like this one. Size it to what you like. And to get our Bitmoji to sit on the seat, we can flip her horizontally. So rotate, flip horizontally. We can see that she's not sitting properly. So what we can do is arrange her so that we have the Bitmoji in front of the seat. So order and bring to the front. Okay. The next thing I want to add is a whiteboard. Just drag and drop. And I just want to center that. There should be a red line that goes right down the page that centers our whiteboard. Okay, and on our whiteboard, we want to insert some text. And I'll just insert the, the date for this today. After that, a very common thing is to have a bookshelf or type transparent background as well. And there are many options. You can also go and upload one yourself. There are sites that are also really good for taking away the background, so make it transparent. Size it to what you like. I think my whiteboard's a little bit large there. And sometimes I like to just make that a little bit higher so that when I insert the activities, the text is clearer. Some people use frames to put their activities. I just insert a shape. close that for now and I like to make my border a little bit thicker and change the color as well so that it stands out and I'm going to give a little bit of instruction on what this activity is going to be so it's going to be watch this video size it correctly And we want to make a clickable link. So I've got a website here that I want the students to view. 
So what I'm going to do is highlight my text, right click and press link so that I can hyperlink this. Control P and apply. So once students click on this site, they'll go straight to the video. The other way to do this is to press insert and there should be an option for linking, which is here. Okay. That's pretty much all you need to know in terms of getting started. But if you wanted to add some personalized touches, I would put small table. I will put my phone. There's much more of that you can do. Um, just having a think about if there's anything else that we want to have as well. Potentially a rug. Not really a fan of these rugs, but we'll just put this in. You can customize it as um, thoroughly as you want. What I'm going to show you now is how to create a Google Classroom banner. And then I'm going to show you how to animate your Bitmoji. So let's make the banner first of all. So create the banner. What we want to have is just a different dimension for our Google Slides. So I'll move my face. We're going to go to File and we want to go to Page Setup. And we want to change it to a custom dimension, which will be 1000 pixels by 250 pixels. And here we've got the size for a Google Classroom banner. I would recommend you change the dimensions first before you insert any Bitmoji. The reason being is if you look back, you can see that all the elements have moved around. Okay. So if you want to make a Google Classroom banner, that's how you would go about doing that. And the last thing I want to show is how to animate. So I'm just going to delete this. And it's kind of like a stop motion animation. So we're going to duplicate, duplicate this site. Grab our Bitmoji character. I might move my face back now. And what we want to do with the Bitmoji character is change her position. So we go to the Bitmoji extension here. Grab another position. We're in the right spot. And you can come up here to add-ons where I've got Creator Studio. If you don't have Creator Studio already, what you can do is just press um, get add-ons and download that. Open that up. What this is going to do is help us to create a GIF or GIF of our two slides. Okay, we want the width to be a little bit larger, so 1,000 pixels is good. The interval will be how fast you want it to be, so I'll do 0 0.3 seconds. Animated GIF or GIF, and then press go. Once it says render completed, where it's going to save it is your Google Drive. So you can pop into Google Drive. There will be a folder called Creator Studio. Press on that, and you should be able to view your GIF. So that's really nice. Although you can see that the hyperlinks aren't there anymore. So this is really good if you want to do a Google Classroom banner. I've seen people do a couple of slides and then have the Bitmoji kind of run around the room. Okay. The other thing to note is you can also download this Google slide as a PDF. And what that does is keeps it keeps the hyperlinks there as well. So you can go on and click on the links. Make sure you share it with your other teacher friends by copying the link here. And anyone with this link can view your Google Slides. So I can see a couple of people viewing this at the moment. Thank you for watching this video. I would love to see your classroom creation. So please comment below a link to your Bitmoji classroom. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Class Notes. If you would like to download a copy of my Bitmoji classroom, please go to File and make a copy and then download that. 
Have a good day, guys. Bye.